Now is a really good time to pick grape leaves for stuffed grape leaves because the leaves are large but they're still young and bright green and tender. So if you want to make stuffed grape leaves and then you can freeze them and thaw them out later if you have lots of them. Um, you can also use these uh, grape leaves in pickles. They help keep pickles crisp. And my favorite part of the grapes is actually this little tendril right here. They're crisp and juicy and sour, tart, and very refreshing. Service berries, June berries, Saskatoons, whatever you want to call these, they're ripening right now in southern Michigan. Um, the berries look a little bit like a blueberry. Uh, they taste a little bit like a blueberry. They have several seeds in them like a blueberry. But to me, the leaves look a little more like cherry. Um, so these are an understory bush and uh, they tend to grow in hardwood forests near the edges. You want to pick the berries when they're dark and kind of purplish like that one right there. Puffball season is starting. A lot of people eat giant puffballs but not a whole lot of people realize that there are other types of edible puffballs like this little guy right here. Um, puffballs in general are edible if you can break the skin open with your finger like I did just there. And solid white inside. No colors, no little ghost outlines of mushrooms, just a solid white uh, marshmallowy looking puffball. If it meets those two criteria that the skin is really thin and it's solid white, then it's safe to consume it. This one, since there's only one of them, you couldn't really do a whole lot with it, but what I might do is uh, take it and put it in my dehydrator and then powder it and put it into one of my mushroom spice mixes. Salsify buds are one of my favorite summer vegetables. You can see that the, the salsify seeds look a little bit like a dandelion. The plant though, the plant doesn't look anything like a dandelion. You can see the whole plant there. Um, what you want on this is the buds, like this one here, or even better, like this one down here. Just these little teeny buds. And I really like to put these in a saute plan and just kind of stir fry them up a little bit. Elders are flowering right now. These little white flowers smell absolutely wonderful. They make a delicious cordial and a nice champagne. You can see the little tiny white flowers here. They're also really pretty on cupcakes and other desserts. If you're not interested in using the flowers, you can also just use them as an indicator because they're very obvious right now so that you know where to come back and harvest the berries in a few more weeks. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick this one flower here, or this one flower umble, and take it home and I'll show you how to make a cordial. The milkweeds are starting to flower. Milkweeds are an important plant for monarch butterflies. The, they are a host plant for the species larvae, which consumes the sap from the milkweed, which causes them to be toxic and keeps predators from trying to catch them so much. Some places don't have a lot of milkweed and you probably shouldn't harvest from those, but in other places milkweed's really quite common. So if you happen to live in an area where milkweed is common or even considered a nuisance, Maybe you want to try some. The little flower buds before they open are also good in stir fry, so maybe you can cook those up with your salsify flower buds. Um, once the flowers are open, when they're this beautiful pink color, they're um, like the elderflower, they're good in cordials, so I'm going to take one of these and put it with the elderflower and the cordial that I'm going to make for you in the next video. You can see the uh, link for that in the comments. So there's your grocery list for the weekend, everyone. Here's one more plant I want to show you though, before you go. This is butterfly weed. As far as I know, there's no human use for it whatsoever, so if you know of one, please let us know in the comments. But it's in season right now, it's flowering, and a lot of people have been asking me about it and walks and stuff like that. So here you go, butterfly weed. Nothing you can do with it, but look at it. So, thanks for watching everyone. Yo, 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 yo,